Dunedin hospital staff are trialling a 3D model of the new ICU before the bricks and mortar version is built. Using these goggles, clinical staff can move around the proposed layout in order to design a space that's cost effective and user friendly. Even small details, such as the location of soap dispensers and rubbish bins, haven't been overlooked. And so we could choose one side or the other, and it's in the centre of the unit, so we wanted to make sure the visibility was good, so we actually got to put it in, in real time and stand there and look around and see how it would impact the visibility. The ICU is being combined with the high dependency unit to offer 22 beds in total. The first phase is expected to be completed in the second half of this year, and the second stage in 2019. The 3D modelling uses computer game software. It's been amazing for our staff to get a really good sense of how the unit will flow, what the visibility will be like, how they can um, visualise the patients from the central stations, if they're working on one side of the unit looking to the other, how they'll be able to see each other. The software can make changes in real time, so several new configurations can be tried in just a few minutes. The lessons from the technology will be incorporated into designing the rebuilt Dunedin Hospital. Rosella Bone, The South Today.